For novel pathogens such as novel coronavirus, MERS CoV, or avian influenza, the recommended additional precautions are airborne, droplet, and contact precautions. These require you to wear the following personal protective equipment gown, fit tested and seal checked N95 respirator, face shield, and gloves. Wet hands with water. Apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub hands palm to palm. Rub back of each hand with palm of other hand with fingers interlaced. Rub palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Rub, rub each thumb clasped in opposite hand using a rotational movement. Rub tips of fingers in opposite palm in a circular motion. Rub each wrist with opposite hand. Rinse hands with water. Inspect your equipment for any damage prior to donning each piece. Clean shaven, don your gown. Tie around the neck and around the waist. Secure gown using a bow that can easily be untied. Ensure all clothing is covered by a gown. Lift your chin and place your fit-tested N95 respirator over your nose and mouth. Stretch the bottom strap over your head and place it on the back of your neck. Ensure strap is on bare skin only. No loose hairs. Place the top strap on the crown of your head. Ensure that the straps are not overlapping or crossed. Check if the mask is properly formed to face. Ensure no folds by running fingers along the edges of the mask. Mold the metal nose strip to conform to the shape of your nose. Do this by placing both your middle fingers at the bridge of your nose and use your index finger to press along the edge of the mask, along the sides of your nose into the cheeks, creating a good seal. Repeat pressing index fingers with pressure, especially along the side of the nose. Perform a seal check by placing your hands at the side of your face at eyebrow level without touching the mask. Don your face shield by placing the strap at the back of your head. Ensure that the top of the face shield is resting in the middle of your forehead. Put on your gloves. Ensure that gloves are placed over the cuff of the gown so that the skin of your wrist is not exposed. Perform a final personal protective equipment check prior to going into the room. Alternatively, have a colleague perform the final check. After entering the patient's room, keep hands away from your face. Only open one door at a time to maintain negative pressure in the room. The doffing process poses the highest risk of transmission to healthcare workers. Make sure to take your time removing your personal protective equipment. A guide will be posted in the ant room outlining the steps of PPE removal for staff. Please refer to this guide when doffing your PPE.
Step into the ant room and ensure the door is closed behind you. Remove gloves using the glove-to-glove -glove and skin-to-skin -skin technique. Place in the garbage. You may perform hand hygiene at this time if there is any concern your hands became contaminated during glove removal. Next, untie the gown around your waist and at the neck. Grab the straps from the back of the neck and slowly pull the gown forward and peel it away from you, touching only the inside of the gown. Be careful not to let the gown touch your clothes. Roll the gown into a ball. Dispose of the gown in the garbage. Perform hand hygiene. Remove the face shield by grabbing the strap at the back of your head. Slowly remove it down and away from your face using the sniff position. Bend forward, eyes forward, chin out. Dispose of the face shield into the garbage. Remove your N95 mask without touching the exterior part of the mask. Again, using the sniff position. Remove one strap at a time, starting with the bottom strap first and removing the top strap last. Remove the straps by grasping them from the back of your head. Dispose of the N95 respirator in the garbage. Perform hand hygiene. 